wouldn't we all love to live in a world where our inventory accuracy is 100% across the basis? Wouldn't that just be the most exciting thing? That is the joy of a sample database, right? Um, and uh, so I'm getting my KPI information is being displayed to me. Here is my inventory value broken up by item group. So these colored blocks are just giving me a nice representation of where is my inventory investment at this moment in time. And then I start getting little uh, financial statements of you world, if you would. Um, what have I sourced in this period? And over here, I can click and change my filters. So currently I'm saying the period is all. So I could say, show me this week, show me this month, show me year to date, show me the last five years. Um, and these values would start changing based on my filters. And uh, I can filter down uh, right down to things like resources, for instance. So here I'm getting a little snapshot of where did I get my inventory from? I made $11 million worth and I bought $15 million worth. And then how did I use it? I used uh, 10 million in production. I had the world's worst cycle count. I disposed of 129 million. Um, this is manufactured cost. This went into subcontracting or into uh, services. I bought 13 pennies worth and I sold $136 million worth. So um, from an inventory status, I get some lovely information in terms of what's happening in my business. And if you look at the bottom of the screen, there are further ways of analyzing this inventory and really digging into the details. All of this is drill downable. So as I click on something, it's gonna take me down to the next level. And I can keep you know, drilling down, going further and further um, till I end up uh, in many of these all the way down to my source transaction. Here is the uh, similar view, but looking at it from a manufacturing accounting point of view. And one of the issues we've always had in D365 is how do I get down to those real nitty gritty um, inventory transactions? Or that's not a true statement. How do I get an, an something that I can use in terms of analyzing those nitty gritty um, transactions? So I get a snapshot depending on my period, you know, whatever period I'm picking over here, what is happening with my whip? How fast am I turning my whip? I have 360 days of whip on hand. This company is seriously upside down right now because I, I launch a production order and then it just sits there instead of moving through. Um, I can have a look at what is happening in terms of my resource management. Where is my whip in terms of my business sites? And then I have some conversion information, again, in a little sort of P&L format. And if I look at the bottom of the screen, again, I have ways of drilling down even further into this information. 